I wanted to talk about some toys that I thought were very interesting because um, in the United States a lot of kids wouldn't know what they were. All right, so this is a little um, thing for pounding chili, like chilies and to make sauce. I thought that was really cute. And this is called a sweat-o, and I don't know the English word for it, but it is for um, when you donate things to monks and you carry it to the monastery, uh, you'd put it in this. This is not the actual size. The actual size is like this big. And you put rice and alms food and things like that, so I thought that was real cute. And this is um, for separating rice from the patty, I think it is, the, the outside, and the women will uh, toss the rice in the air and it separates the rice from the patty. The actual size is much bigger than this, but I thought that was so cute. And um, this is for cooking. Now in Myanmar, it's very rare to have an oven and stove or microwave. Some people have a hot plate, but some people don't, especially in the village. They cook over a fire or they cook over, they use this little, um, uh, I don't know what it would be called, fire kiln. <laughs> So you put the wood in the hole and set it on fire, then you have this little grate that you put the rice pot on. And it cooks. I'm missing the lid. The lid's around here somewhere. And this is a scale, obviously. When you go to the market and you buy rice or meat, it's put on a scale, it's sold by weight. So this little scale also came with these little weights. I thought that was so cute. And of course, American kids wouldn't know what to do with this, probably. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? And this is a lunchbox. And in Myanmar, sometimes they are smaller. They either just have two layers. Some have like six layers. Just depends on how much food you want to carry. But this is like a miniature size of the lunch box. See the different compartments? So one compartment can be for rice and one for vegetables and meat and so on. Last is the water pot. Now these are very common around Myanmar. You see these all the time. On the stand there will be a pot for water and on the top is a cup. So if you're thirsty, and this is everywhere, like on every street, some people just um, like supply one for passers-by. So there's a cup on top, and if you're thirsty, you remove the little lid that keeps out the bugs. You get yourself a drink of water. Everyone uses the same cup. That's how it is here. But I think that's very nice that you could get a drink of water. Cause you know, there's no water fountains around. It is so hot here and humid. So, isn't that so cute? All right, thanks for watching.